morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. This is Amanda Waldhart, and I am here with you at amandasinspirationstation.com. Wow, it's January. It's January. Crazy, crazy, crazy how time flies. I have two fabulous cards to show you, and I'm going to show you some fun techniques and we are going to just have a blast today. So I have a card here that I just absolutely loved making. And I have another card here. <laughs> and we are going to use um, two different techniques, but we are going to use the Wild Roses stamp set. Now this stamp set, um, we're going to use that along with the new Happy Thoughts stamp set. And I can actually now show you um, inside the catalog because it is live today. Woohoo! That means that our January through June mini catalog is live. That means that our celebration is live. So for every $50 um, before shipping and tax that you purchase, you can pick an item out of here. Um, there are two items that are um, with a $100 purchase, um, and that one would be a Touch of Ink stamp set and then the Berry Blessing stamp set with the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper, which if you guys watched my video yesterday, you know that that is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, so today on page 28 of the new mini catalog, we're going to use the Happy Thoughts stamp set. Um, this was inspired by um, a million dollar sales achiever, um, Jackie Botus. I think I Botus. I think I said it right. I don't know, and if I didn't, I'm so sorry. Um, I love the stamp set that she helped design. It is just sentiments and it's perfect it is perfect it is perfect for all kinds of cards thank yous birthdays thinking of you congratulations you name it and i really really wanted to use the wild roses background stamp today along with um some heat embossing techniques and using the new blending brush technique today so i wanted to show you some fun things and that's what I chose is the Wild Roses. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this. Um, and we're going to start with the black, the black card first. And I'm going to show you the pieces that we have first. Let's get all of this out. Um, for starters, you're going to need a basic black um, card base. And this will measure at five and a half by eight and a half. If you score it, you're going to score it at four and a quarter, which I did score it. But if you didn't score it, um, you could just fold it in half and then use your bone folder to varnish it in. Now I have two pieces of cardstock here. Um, and this must be cut a little bit different, but this is a four by five and a quarter. This whisper white is what's going to go on the inside of the card. And we are going to stamp a sentiment on the inside of the card. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. And we're going to stamp the, today is great because of all, because it's all about you, the great person you are and the great things that you do. So the card says, congratulations. And then that saying, and I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use our stays on. And I'm just going to ink this up. I don't want to adhere this piece into the card yet because if I stamp this and I make a, a boo-boo, <laughs> I can then flip it over and try it again. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp in the center there. Yay. No boo-boo here. All right, and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to place this inside the center of our card. So there's that. All right, so now we're gonna set this aside for right now because we do still have a few other pieces. We have a basic black piece, which should measure as the same as this, but looked a little bit smaller. So I don't know if this is the right or if this I must have cut it wrong, but it should measure at four by five and a quarter, just like this, because we're going to do tone on tone. So I'm going to, um, if you can see, we're going to use the background here on this, but then we're going to pop it up using our dimensionals. So it's just tone on tone, black on black. And then the two other pieces um, that I have here are both rectangle stitches. 
stitched rectangles and I just already cut it out for the sake of the video so that the video wasn't as long since we're going to be doing some techniques today. So I did get these from the rectangle stitched dies. All right. So let's just set this aside. We are gonna stamp congratulations on this. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just quick stamp that right now. Um, that way our stamping part is done and we can go ahead and just go right into our, um, our technique. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stamp the congratulations right inside. There we go. And now that part's done. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just set this aside for right now. All right, so for this, if you do not currently have a Stamparatus, um, that might be something that you want to get. I love my Stamparatus. There's lots of wonderful things that you can do with it. Um, it does come with two plastic plates. I just took my other one out because right now I'm only using the one. But um, there's different techniques you can do, like hinge techniques, all kinds of fun things. I use it all the time for my background stamps. I love background stamps. I think that they just add a little bit more to the card, a little bit of texture, and I really like it. So I find it very easy to use the background stamp using the Stamparatus. I'm literally going to place my piece of paper, my cardstock, my basic black right on the Stamparatus. Now we are gonna do a heat embossing and we're gonna use clear embossing powder all right, and we're gonna use the Versamark. So we're gonna ink it up with the Versamark, we're gonna stamp it, and then we're just gonna dump the clear Versamark or clear embossing powder all over it because we want it to be that shiny, that shiny paper. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get inking this up. And the Versamark has got a sticky consistency if you have not yet used it. I love doing this. This is, this is super fun to me. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to press down. Now, I could use my magnets to hold it in place, but because it's a bigger stamp, it just, it kind of holds itself in place. I'm not, and then I'm just going to kind of rub it like that. And then I'm just going to do this. Now, if I would have Okay, so I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can move it up a little bit. You can kind of see it a little bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this out and I'm just going to start dumping, dumping this all over. And I'm not gonna be shy because I'm just gonna flick it right off and then put it right back in my container. So don't be shy about it. Dump your powder. All right. Okay, so now we're just going to take the corner here and we're going to, I like to flip it over and I do flick it flick. Um, I find that flicking flicks it off the best. So then your cardstock is going to look like this. Okay, so now give me a second here. We're gonna dump this back in my container here because we're gonna need this again for the second card. So we're gonna dump this back in right now. And we're going to shut this so I don't spill it because th that would be me. I would spill it. All right, so now we need our heat tool. We're going to come back to the Stamparatus too because we're going to use that again. So I have the Stampin' Up! heat tool and I'm going to plug that in and we're going to get that going because now we want to heat emboss it. Now, I use a pair of tweezers and whenever it's like all this whole entire thing like this, I just kind of find a spot that I can kind of tweeze it because it will, this does get hot. And then what we're waiting for is we're waiting for it to warm up and it's going to all of a sudden disappear from looking like a white faded chalk to black and shiny. So we're going to go ahead and I have it on high, there are two notches. All right, see how it's starting to go? Once it heats up, it do usually doesn't take that long. All right. Now, because I have more room now on this corner, I'm going to 
just hold this corner with my fingers. All right. I have a helper today. Well, I have a helper every day. It's my cat. And he's up on the counter right now, which you probably can't see him. He's off to the side here wondering what this thing is. He has no fear. Loud noises does not bother him. <laughs> All right. I love watching this, like, just disappear right before your eyes and change. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, Lucifer, back up. My cat is not liking this heat tool right now. He just batted at it. I don't know if you saw that or not. All right, I'm going to have to probably kick him out here. All right, so now that we have that heated, I'm going to shut this off. Sorry, that took a little bit longer. And I'm going to kick him out. So all right. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that we have that done, I actually I think I see a little spot here that I feel like still needs to be a little more. So give me a second here. Yep, it did. All right. Like disappeared from it looking like white chalk, but it wasn't quite shiny. You want it to make sure that it gets real shiny. All right. All right, I think we're good now. And it will feel a little tacky if you don't have it completely heat embossed. All right, so let's go ahead and feel it. Nope, it feels smooth now and dry. So um, if it wasn't completely embossed, it would feel a little tacky. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish our card. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. Um, now, we do have dimensionals that um, are actually not white. They are black, and they're perfect for things like this, but I'm out of them, so I have to use the white. Um, and not that that matters. You don't have to. It's just sometimes, depending on the height, if you looked at a card like this, you might be able to see, um, and they see the dimensionals underneath it. If that doesn't bother you, then you don't need to do that, but... I'm out of them, so it wouldn't matter anyway. All right, so now I'm going to use our mini dimensionals because I am going to pop up this congratulations stitched rectangle onto the black. I do want that, that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, use my regular ones here because I can do that. And then we'll go like this. And now this is just a very simple yet elegant card. And we're just going to go ahead and do it like that. Although I noticed that my white is a little crooked. There we go. All right. What a fun card. We just used the background stamp. It just gives it a little extra. It just, it's simple. It's elegant. It's pretty. And it's just a great congratulations card. All right, so let's move to the second one. This one we're going to do um, a few things a little bit differently. We are still going to do some heat embossing, but we're going to use our new blending brush, which I'm super excited about. All right, so let's go over some of the pieces that you're going to need. You're going to need a card base, and I am using the Whisper White Thick Cardstock. Again, it's measured at five and a half by eight and a half, and it is scored at four and a quarter. So I have that still scored, my bone folder. 
And then I have another, we don't need a piece on the inside because it's white, but we are going to do white on white. Um, so tone on tone. So I needed another piece of Whisper White. I did not use the thick, I just used the regular. Um, and this measures at four by five and a quarter. Then I just have a couple scraps. So I grabbed a scrap piece of Whisper White and I grabbed a scrap piece of our Pretty Peacock because we are gonna use the tailored tags punch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, let's do some stamping first and we're going to stamp the thank you in our Pretty Peacock and we're just going to stamp it. Perfect. Now we're going to take our tag punch and we're going to center that and punch. That's easy peasy. Now we're going to take this and we're going to do another tag punch in our pretty peacock. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors to give it that framed look. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to just cut up the center here. So basically we have two pieces and we're going to put some, use our Stampin' Seal and we're going to now on the back of the white, we're just going to line it up. What we're doing is we're just creating a frame for it. So we're just lining it up just like that. Now we are gonna use dimensionals for it. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals on the back but I'm not gonna adhere it just yet. So I'm just gonna leave that like that, okay? Now on the inside of this card, we used this pretty ribbon, which I love the Pool Party Sheer 3 8th, 3 8th inch ribbon. So this card here says, thank you. And then it says, the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference in so many people. Again, all of these sayings are from the Happy Thought stamp set. So let's go ahead and stamp on the inside here. And we're gonna use the Pretty Peacock. Ugh, I feel like I've got powder. All right, and we're just gonna center that like that. We are now done with this ink pad, so we do not need this anymore. All right, so that's that for right now. We're gonna set that aside as well because now we're gonna get back out our Stamparatus and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for the white or for the first card, um, the black card, but now we're going to do it on white. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We are still using the clear um, embossing powder and we're gonna, going to use the Versamark. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get this inked up and we're just going to press it. This Stamparatus is so nice. If you had something that you wanted centered in a card and you had like swaps or Christmas cards or Valentine cards or some something that you're making a lot of, it's so nice just to have it in that one spot and be done with it. I love this Stamparatus. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, before it dries, I do wanna put the powder on it. You can go ahead and put the powder on and wait to dump the powder, but don't don't wait with it like this or the, it will dry up. So let's get this on and then I'm gonna show you something real quick before we heat emboss this. All right, so before we heat emboss this, um, I'm gonna set this aside for just a moment. I have our chamois and I generally use the scrub pad for my um, regular stamp. So like if I'm cleaning this stamp off, I have a scrub pad off to the side and that's what I use. But when I'm doing something like a big um, a background stamp, sorry, I was trying to think, I actually buy my chamois and I cut it up into little pieces like this. Now this is totally optional, this is just what I do. Um, I get them wet and then I put them in one of these stamp cases. Now I've had this I got this wet a week ago and put this in the stamp case. It is still wet. There will come a point though where it will get hard and it'll dry and then it won't work. So you just get them wet again. But right now it is wet 
And what I do, in fact, all of them are wet. I literally now I'm just going to take one of these and I'm just going to go like this and rub all that off. I find this is easier to clean my background stamps than the scrubber. So there's that. Then I just stick it in like that and I'm done. So that's just a little tip and trick. I don't know how you guys do it. Thought I would share the way that I do it. All right, so let's now go back to our card here and we're going to flick it. Flick it, okay. And we're going to, again, put this back in the container. Um, I like these little containers. I buy them at Michael's. Of course, look at, I've already spilt some. That does not surprise me. They're like 99 cents for this little container. And then I have it, I have my clear embossing powder in there and I also have my white in one like that. All right, so I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm going to brush this off because it's feeling kind of sandy right now and I'm not liking that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another corner like this. And sorry that this is gonna take a couple minutes. So why I'm doing that, feel free to look through your new uh, mini catalog. If you guys do not have one and you are a current customer of mine, I did mail them out. So if you did not receive one, please let me know. If you are not a current um, customer of mine and you do not have a current Stamping Up Demonstrator, I would love to get one out to you. Um, you can either email me at mandyjoe1023 at gmail.com or you can message me through my blog at amandasinspirationstation.com. You could even message me right underneath in the comments on my YouTube channel if you are watching this video on my YouTube channel. Um, I would be more than happy to reach, have you reach out to me and get you a catalog. We're almost done here. The white to me, when you're doing clear on the whisper white or the basic white, um, it does, it is a little bit harder, I, I believe, to see to make sure it's done. So you really do kind of got to look at it. I have a, um, I have an ot light right next to me that I'm going to look at it to make sure it's all done. Um, I just, I can't have the ot light shining on here because with the video, it, it leaves a glare. But this one we want to make sure it's done because we want this completely heated um, and embossed so that we can go ahead and use our new blending brushes because that's the fun other technique that we're gonna do. All right. So see, I do have a, I have a hot light right here. So I am gonna just briefly look and I'm gonna feel it and it feels smooth so it's not tacky. So we're good to go. All right, so now I just have one of these little grid papers. Um, you can buy this, um, you can purchase it for your Stamparatus. I, I like using these. I'm literally just gonna place it on here. And we're gonna get out three, um, we're gonna do three um, colors today. We are going to do Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pretty Peacock. Now, I wanna show you this new, our new blending brushes. Um, some of you may have already have some of these blending brushes that are not stamping ups. Um, I know that this is a technique that's been around for a while um, and stamping up just got the new brushes and they are in this new January through June um, mini catalog. So I'm super excited about that. They are found in the back, near the back. Um, I think they are... Let's see here. I can tell you exactly what page they're on. Hopefully right here. So they're on page 70 in the corner. They're blending brushes and you get three of them. So I'm going to, um, 
I've kind of started labeling mine. I'm not going to get one for every color that Stamping Up owns because, of course, that would be costly. But I am going to do like one for blues, one for greens, one for pinks, um, you know, one for reds, purples, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'll show you how I clean them when I'm done. Like right now, yes, there's this is on there, but if I go like this, there's nothing. Um, so I do clean them. So right now we're going to start with our Coastal Cabana and then we're going to do Bermuda Bay and we're going to do Pretty Peacock. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like an ombre look. Oh, and I just got my card in the corner of that ink pad. It's on the inside. No one will know. <laughs> I'm just making it for the video. So I'll just, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just lightly brush over it like this. I'm just going to lightly brush over it. And now I'm just going to kind of lightly, in a circular motion, I'm going to just start coloring the top. Okay, so we're just going to do that. We're just going to color the top. And again, I'm just going in a circular motion like this. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I go like this. It's already, it doesn't, it doesn't stay on it like you think. Like if you look at this, you're seeing all this ink and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to put that on my paper. But there's nothing, it's, ugh, they're wonderful. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do now Bermuda Bay. And we're just going to go in a circular motion again. Kind of going to blend up into the Coastal Cabana. And again, nothing there. So now we're going to move to our Pretty Peacock. And we're just going to go in a circular motion on the bottom here. And see how pretty that is? I love it. And I'm just going to kind of... Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it was fun and it was easy. And now I'm going to show you what I do to just kind of clean this off. I literally take a wipe. I use Huggies. Um, that's, I, I just use the Huggies all the time as my wet wipes. And I'm literally now going to brush this off. And I'm just going to brush. I'm going to go in a circular motion like this. And then it'll dry. And that's how I clean it. Um, and it has not failed me or hurt them yet. So that's how I do it. All right. So we no longer need these. Let's shut these before I stick the other corner of my card in one of them. So we need our ribbon and I am just going to kind of measure my ribbon like this. I literally just put it on the back like that. Now I do have it going the opposite direction so we're going to go back to the opposite direction this way and I am going to now just wrap it around here and I'm going to tie a bow. So we're going to go like this and I'm going to tie a bow here get my little Mickey ears. And we're going to, there we go. And then I'm going to trim off the edges, make them so that they're nicer. I, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to pop this up onto our card. Now I'm going to do I don't want this sliding around. I don't like it when ribbon slides around like that. So I'm going to make sure that it's where I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some dimensionals half on the ribbon, half off the ribbon. That way it kind of holds down the ribbon. I mean, you could put tear tape or stamp and seal, whatever you want, but I'm using the dimensionals. So now I'm just going to place this right on top here. Voila. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our thank you tag on there. Our little thank you. 
I'm going to place that right over top of this ribbon like that. Perfect. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed um, these cards today. I hope that you um, have fun making one. If you, you know, if, if this is something that you enjoy doing, um, definitely try out these brushes if you have not tried them out. Um, if you're watching my video on my YouTube channel, I would love for you to subscribe to it. Um, I appreciate it. And I also appreciate if you're watching it on my blog at amandasinspirationstation.com or my Facebook page under Amanda's Inspiration Station. Thank you. Um, if you would like to purchase any of these products so that you could earn a free celebration item, you can go directly to amandasinspirationstation.com and you would just click shop now. And I would appreciate that. Um, there is a hostess code um, linked to this video. Um, I would definitely love for you to use that hostess code unless your order is 150 or more. If your order is 150 or more because you have a little wish list um, using the Stampin' Up um, celebration items, anything at 150 or more, you earn your own stamping rewards. So please do not use my hostess code. Please take the hostess rewards yourself. Also, with a $300 order or more, you can earn a free stamp set called Punch Party. This stamp set is completely free for hosting a workshop or hosting your own party um, or your own order of $300 or more. So this would be free on top of that. So along with your hostess rewards and your free celebration items. So thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your week.